Today we are going to talk about economic choices. Every single day we are making choices about something, what we're going to do, what we're going to wear, what toy we're going to buy. We are always making choices. So we're going to talk about the process that we can use to make a choice. So how do we make a choice? When we make a choice, we're thinking of the benefits and the costs. The benefits are what are the good things that are going to happen if I make this choice? And what is the cost? What are the not so good things or the negative things that are going to happen if I make this choice? So we have this example over here. We have either Legos or the movies. So I'm giving you a choice. You can either go buy some Legos or you can go to the movies. Now, right now, you might already have in your head which one of those you want to choose. But I need you to think, what are the benefits of getting the Legos? And what are the benefits of going to the movies? Well, the benefits of the Legos are that you can play with them over and over again. You can build tons of things with them. You have them forever. You can continue to build with them. The benefit of going to the movies is that you get to see this awesome new movie that all of your friends are probably talking about. You get to spend time with your family. You're probably going to get some popcorn and snacks and maybe a drink while you're at the movie. So, I don't know if that changed your mind at all, but think about what are the benefits of each. Now let's talk about the cost. If you choose the movie, you're going to miss out on playing with the Legos. You can only watch the movie one time, but you can play with the Legos lots of times. So if you choose the movie, you only get to watch it once. So that's the cost of choosing the movie. You only get to watch it one time, and then that's it. And then you go home. But if you choose the Legos, the cost is you're not going to get popcorn. You're not going to get to see the movie and spend time with your family. So now we've talked about the benefits and the cost of each. You can make a decision. Do you want to choose the Legos and miss out on the popcorn and the family time, but you'll get something to play with over and over again? Or do you want to choose the movie where you're going to get to spend time with your family, you're going to get food and snacks, but you're only going to be able to see it one time? So think about that. Which one of those would you choose? When we make a choice, we're going to miss out on something. So if I chose the Legos, I'm going to miss out on the movie. If I choose the movie, I'm going to miss out on those Legos. So the opportunity cost is what you are missing out on. What you're not getting to do or getting to buy because you decided on something else. So let's look at some examples. Our first example is we can either choose candy or we can choose an apple. Let's talk about the cost and benefit of each of these. The benefit of the candy is it's delicious. We love candy. I love candy. The benefit of the apple is that it's healthy. It's good for you. You should eat apples. They're good for you. You guys get them for breakfast every day at school when we were going to school. The cost of the candy is that it's not good for you, and it's probably going to be more expensive than an apple, so you're going to have to spend more money. The cost of the apple is that you're missing out on all that delicious chocolate and candy. So you have to make a choice. Are you going to get the candy or the apple? If you choose the candy, the opportunity cost, the thing you're missing out on is the apple. If you choose the apple, the opportunity cost is going to be the candy. Let's look at a couple more examples. So our second example, we have going to the baseball game or getting a new pair of shoes. So let's talk about the benefit and cost again. The benefit of the baseball game is you're spending time with your family. You're going to have good food, probably a hot dog, maybe nachos. I always, always get ice cream. It's my favorite. And the benefit of going or getting new shoes is that they're probably going to be more comfortable than your old shoes. You're going to look stylish and cool when you go to school. You can show all your friends your new shoes. And they're probably going to be less expensive than going to a baseball game. So you're going to spend less money if you get the shoes. Now, 
the cost of going to the baseball game is that you're missing out on the shoes. You're not going to be able to show your friends all your cool new shoes. And you're probably going to spend a lot of money while you're at the game because food and things cost a lot of money at baseball games. The cost of getting the shoes is that, well, you're not going to get to watch the baseball game, but you're not going to get to spend all this extra time with your family. You're not going to get the good food. You're not going to get to maybe catch a foul ball or a home run. So you're missing out on things. So again, if you choose the baseball game, your opportunity cost is the shoes because that's what you're missing out on. But if you choose the shoes, your opportunity cost will be the baseball game because you'll be missing out on that. We're gonna look at one more example. This example has nothing to do with buying things. This example is something you guys have probably dealt with before. So our first option is to go outside and play with our friends. And our section op second option is to do homework. Let's talk about the cost and benefits. So the benefit of going outside, it's sunny, it's nice outside, you get to have fun, you play with your friends, you have a good time. The benefit of doing your homework is that it's done. Once you get it done, you don't have to worry about it anymore, and then you can go do other things. Excuse me. The cost of playing outside is that at some point, you're going to have to do your homework. So you're wasting time outside when you could be doing your homework to get it done and out of the way. The cost of doing your homework is that you're not going to go get to see your friends. You're not going to get to enjoy the sun and be outside and enjoy all the little stories and games that they're playing. So again, you have to make a choice. Are you going to go play outside? If you go play outside, your opportunity cost is the homework. If you choose doing the homework, your opportunity cost is playing outside. That's what you're missing out on. Either way, you're going to have to get your homework done. So my choice would be to do homework first, because then after I'm done with homework, then I could maybe go play outside. So that is it for today. So just a recap, we talked about making choices. When you make a choice, you have to think about the benefits, the things that are good about that choice, and the costs, which are the things that are not so good about that choice. And then whichever one you don't choose is what the opportunity cost is. That is what you are missing out on. I hope that that was helpful for you guys. See you later.